no words can really express the pain and grief that I feel at this point in time on the sad demise of our colleague, uh, Shri Rajiv Tyagi, who literally died with his boots on during a television debate. Uh, Rajiv's death uh, tells you the stressful work which uh, party spokespersons do across the board, carrying the can for their respective political parties. And in the context of television debates, they have to react in real times to at times extremely acerbic and obnoxious questions which are thrown at them by anchors and their fellow panelists. Rajiv's death should become the trigger for television channels to revisit this debate format with 10, 10 people on a program. These debates are no longer structured discussions. They resemble uh, WWFs. They only serve to generate television rating points for television channels which translate into <coughs> revenue streams because there is no subscription revenue available and they completely and absolutely vitiate uh, both the political and the social atmosphere of the country. In the past couple of years, the kind of language which is used on television channels, the mob hanky galis which are uttered by certain panelists should be cause for the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting to decisively intervene and cancel the licenses of such television channels for they uh, totally contravene the program and advertising code which is the intrinsic licensing condition uh, of these television channels uh, especially in the context of the cable and television uh, networks regulation act of 1995 once again my sincerest condolences uh, to shri rajiv tyagi's wife and his two children who had to uh, witness the sad specter of their father uh, laying down his life uh, in the course of his journey.